Good afternoon. Last night, I spoke with Donald Trump. I'm sincerely grateful that he's doing well and recovering. And we had a short but good conversation. Jill and I are keeping him and his family in our prayers. We also extend our deepest condolences to the family of the victim who was killed. He was a father. He was protecting his family from the bullets that were being fired. And he lost his life. God love him. As I said last night, there is no place in America for this kind of violence or any violence for that matter. An assassination attempt is contrary to everything we stand for as a, as a nation. Everything. It's not who we are as a nation. It's not America. And we cannot allow this to happen. Unity is the most elusive goal of all. But nothing is important than that right now. Unity. The FBI is leading this investigation, which is still in its early stages. We don't yet have any information about the motive of the shooter. We know who he is. I urge everyone, everyone, please, don't make assumptions about his motives or his affiliations. Let the FBI do their job and their partner agencies do their job. My fellow Americans, I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics and to remember Oh, we may disagree. We are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens. And most importantly, we're our fellow Americans. We must stand together. Earlier today, I spoke about an ongoing investigation. We do not know the motive of the shooter yet. We don't know his opinions or affiliations. We don't know whether he had help or support or if he communicated with anyone else. Law enforcement professionals as I speak, are investigating those questions. There is no place in America for this kind of violence, or for any violence, ever. Period. 